I I could not find a video on YouTube that I liked that explained phylogenetic trees, so I just made my own. Um, so watch this if you're confused about how to interpret a phylogenetic tree. So phylogenetic tree is kind of like a family tree for a clad or a group of organisms. So how to interpret this? Um, so going from this one from left to right, the, the organisms on the left side are ancestors. So usually they're species that are no longer around. And then the organisms here, A, B, C, D, and E, those organisms are still around today. So A, B, C, D, and E, those are the species of interest. Wherever a branch splits into two and sometimes more than two, that's called a speciation event, that branch point this one right here. So that means that that one ancestral species split into two different species. And later this unit we'll talk about why organisms split, um, the different speciation events that it could occur that cause the split in the tree. And then these are referred to as the branches. So the the ancestor, the common ancestor for species A, B, C, D, and E is right here. So the further to the left on this phylogenetic tree, the further back in history. So let's look at some examples, some actual examples. So this is the phylogenetic tree on your activity. So these um, species, fish, birds, and then these are all different types of uh, mammals. Monotremes like platypus, marsupials, which are mammals that have pouches, and then urethrians, which are placental mammals like humans. So this is showing, this one's similar to the one I just showed you, except it's turned um, vertically. So here, the top species, these are obviously still around today. And then further back in history, so it goes from present day to 400 million years ago, um, wherever you see these branches splitting, again, that's the speciation event that separated marsupials from erythrians. This is the speciation event that separated monotremes from other um, mammals and then way back 300 million years ago roughly was the speciation event that separated birds from mammals all right um other things you need to know how to interpret this so if we ask you which group of mammals is most closely related to urethrians then you need to look at the phylogenetic tree and determine which group is um, branched off from urethrians most recently so that would be obviously here marsupials so it's the same thing if i asked which group of species is most closely related to monotremes so the ones that branched off most recently would be the marsupials and the urethrians um, so the, the closer two species are on a phylogenetic tree the more recent the speciation event that separated them the more closely related they are which makes sense because humans are way more closely related to marsupials than we are to fish. We have more things in common because our common ancestor um, existed more recently than the common ancestor between humans and fish. Okay, so some other phylogenetic trees you might come into contact with later in your career in biology. So sometimes they're set up like this, so more like a triangle. It's the same thing. This one also includes the trait that separates that species from the other clads. So for example, jawless fish don't have jaws. Everything above this red line do have jaws. Bony skeleton is the trait that separates cartilage fish and like um, sharks and jawless fish from bony fish, amphibians, mammals, etc. Um, here's a trait here, hair, which separates mammals from the rest of these organisms. So again, if I were to ask you which, which group of organisms is most closely related to birds, well, looking here, Crocodiles and birds, the speciation event happened more recently than birds and any other speciation event. Okay, um, another example of a phylogenetic tree. So this one is kind of set up similar to the one in the slides of your case study, but you would interpret it just the same. So the common ancestor for all species here, bacteria, archaea, and eukarya, um, is right here. But this one doesn't have a timeline necessarily because... We aren't sure when that speciation event happened because it happened millions and millions and millions of years ago. Um, but you would still interpret um, the 
groups of animals. So we actually have more in common with fungi than we do plants because we're heterotrophic and so are fungi. Um, so you would still interpret it the same. Okay, and that is it for the phylogenetic tree interpretation.